What up everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. Just uh, gonna shoot a little unboxing video. We've had a order of wire wheels come in. Uh, the set that we've got boxed up, ready to go, is uh, some 13 by seven inch reverse laced, center gold, Zenith style, that are going on Jamel's Jag, which was in the shop recently for a, a full rebuild, upgrade type installation. Let's jump straight to it. I'll get some boxes open and we'll see what we got. I'm guessing this is probably knockoffs. Yeah, here we go, knockoffs. Careful with that blade, you don't want to scratch any of the chrome. Well, yeah, I've got five knockoffs because I was old one. Let's see what we got. Ooh, we. So we got the. We got the gold. With the chrome rings. Oh snap, son. Yeah, they're real pretty. So this is the standard knockoff that you get. You can either get chrome, gold, you can get just gold with no chrome rim, or, or go chrome with a gold rim. And they are real nice quality. And the next one. On the left side. Exactly the same. Oh yeah. Yeah, them screws are. The screws need tightening up. Probably put a bit of thread lock on them before they go. Another right. Again, the quality on these is incredible. In fact, I'm gonna leave one of these, one of these knockoffs out. We'll build a wheel up. I cannot get enough of it. And the quality of the gold on the knockoffs is is something else. Is something else. And of course, you get a choice of center chips. There is a range of different colors that you can choose from. That's the final one. One of the rights. Okay, so next box, uh, another smallish box, bigger than the last one, and it says accessories, so this is most likely to be the adapters. There we go, adapters, so how these work is they've got five different stud patterns, sometimes it says the stud patterns on the adapter they don't on, doesn't on these but these will be five stud for most if not all American fitments and you get two white which are standard right hand thread for the left side of the car and two red which are opposite so left hand thread for the right side of the car I don't need to take all of these out I think you get the idea you also get a lead hammer Although we do recommend getting your hands on a Limit Fabrications knockoff tool. We've got another video on those. They are the best quality knockoff tool you can buy on the market. But obviously it's also handy to have a lead hammer just kicking around just in case. The problem with these is they don't last very long because obviously lead's a soft material. And the more you bash it around, the more it loses its shape. And here's the centre chips. Go from the bag. Self-adhesive, so they've got the sticky pad on the back. They all come really well packaged. And then that sticks to the center of your knockoff. Oh man, look at that. Yeah, boy. So now we're gonna unbox the wheels. 13 by seven. I don't know what. Uh, oh, I'm guessing it's a hundred spoke uh, SL. I hope that doesn't mean standard lace because they're supposed to be reverse. So SL. I'm not sure what the SL stands for. Or the oh, centre gold uh, straight lace. Here we go. I've got it. I've got it. <laughs> Thirteen by seven. So we all know that's the wheel size. Reverse lace. So that means it's got the deepest dish. Um, so the spokes are at the back of the wheel. 
it's got 100 spokes instead of the other options you can get 72 spokes straight laced you can get straight laced and you can get cross laced and then center gold so there's a few different styles of wheels just gently score in the box rather than digging that in for the wheels to be double boxed to protect them in uh, transport so from the supplier double boxed not only the double box but they're then bagged so the wheels inside the bag took that out of the way and then not only are the double box bagged they have a, a rim protector to protect the outside of the edge and then they've got a piece of this protecting on them and there you go there's the wheel oh snap my god that looks incredible and of course once you add knock off an adapter and center chip that's what the final wheel would look like so we're going to quickly get through all these other boxes and make sure the quality of the wheels are all on point which they always are so on the back of the wheel you've got the same so in a bag you've got edge protection and then they've got this to protect the wheel as well and the backs are just as good as the front it's a shame really because you'll never see that once it's on on the car but yeah really impressed with the quality so let's get through the other three wheels and then i'll build one up with an adapter and a knockoff and a center chip and we'll get some better shots of it if you like these product review videos please let us know in the comments because we do get a lot of stuff from all over the world. Now we're distributors for different companies. We distribute for Hoppo's in California. That's the hydraulic kits that we supply and install. We distribute wire wheels and accessories, knockoffs, adapters, knockoff uh, center chips, lead hammers. We're also going to start distributing for limit fabrication. So they're knockoff tools. You'll be able to get through us at some point. So we'll do. We have done a product review on, on the Limit Fabrications knockoff tool. You can have a dig through the channel and get another beautiful wheel. The quality looks good. That's box number three. And again, there's the double box. Plastic sheet for protection. Oh, this one's coming out breach. Get it out with the box. Let's do the back side first on this one. stuff and the last wheel This is the last wheel in the box. Let's uh, assemble it with a knockoff and adapter, and we'll take a closer look at it. So, adapter, sorry, knockoff, center chip. It's just a case of peeling off the self adhesive backing, and then you want to make sure that you get this nice and central. 
it lines up. I like to do it so that end of that bar there and that bar there line up with these two bolts. And actually stick your finger through the back, hold it in place. Align it. I think we should do it with the right hand. There you go. Get a good push down so it sticks. I think there's more right than left, was there? Oh, here's the box. So this was the box that the adapter was in. It was a left. So the left side adapters, <coughs> the left side adapters, I've got the, the right hand thread. So let's find an adapter, a white one. Make sure it's the right thread. Which it is. Take it off gently, not, make sure not to drop it. Get your wheel. Ooh. Adapter in. And then again, very gently, because you don't want to drop this against the rim. Find the start of the thread. And there you go. Now, when you put these on the car, you need to make sure that you use copper grease. Otherwise, the threads can get locked up. So let's have a closer look. So there you have it, a nice little unboxing video for you guys. And if there's anything else you'd like to see, just let us know. Thanks very much for watching. Peace out, yo. Test, testing, stop sniffing, that's sh <laughs> Hello everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. <laughs> God, I hate doing this sh Everyone. Hello everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. Just got a, I'm a jag. Hello everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. I'm gonna shoot a little video. You know. Today I'm gonna Hello everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. Oh, Hello everybody, it's Pete from Lay and Play. Just uh can't do starts, can't do intros.